I am now in the Hyundai Ioniq. This is not the first time I test it. I've tested it several times. A request from my followers is to measure the noise and everything. So I have done that, but I have to go home and uh, analyze the data. But um, I will also retest uh, consumption, by the way, and check some weight distribution. So um, right now we are juicing it up. And you know, uh, I figure that there's no need for me to charge to 100% and then discharge it to almost zero. I've done it many times before, so I know that this car should have about 26 to 28 kilowatt hours available. So, but last time I tested during winter at 90 kilometers per hour, 56 miles per hour, I was getting 160 watt hour per kilometer consumption. So I will at least try to verify that we still get 160. The conditions today are similar to that day I tested it. So, yeah. Uh, so right now I'm just juicing up and actually I'm almost good to go. Yeah, I mean, since we're not charging to 100%, then we can just stop. Well, we could always just stop now, but um, I just want to make a good run for the money. Uh, so it will stop at 94% anyway. So yeah, let's wait for 94%. And then we will drive. Let me see, you got the map here. So, oh, uh, 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 3D, okay, there. No console, all right. And then uh, if you zoom out a bit, let me show you where we are. Okay, so you see we are here at uh, uh, where is this place on then? Uh, Nevernes, Nevernes. Oh shit! I will probably drive north a little bit and then back again. Do like a, uh, I have a 60 kilometer stretch. That's about uh, almost 40 miles. We can do it, and then we get a good uh, good number there. Oh yeah, we are on the move now. So. I use eco mode here on the drive setting. We have drive mode here. And then I also use driver only setting uh, because I'm driving alone. And if you look here now, energy consumption, you can see that we are consuming about yeah, 800 watt to one kilowatt on the heater. It, it has a heat pump, so it's more efficient than a PTC heater. And the consumption is stabilizing. We have to wait a little while before we see the real number. Hopefully, it's not 190 watt per kilometer. I mean, hopefully, we will get 160 like we did before. Yeah, see, so it's fluctuating a lot right now. <laughs> uh, but wow, I mean, it's been a while since I sat in the in the Ionic, and you know, it just the car. I mean, this is soft soft materials, nice soft materials here. You know. The interior feels so nice and premium, like uh, in the in the other cars like uh, Nero and Kona, I feel like they've been saving some money just to fit in that big battery pack. But here, you get such a nice place to sit in, and also the sound level seems okay. I have to double check again once I'm home, but uh, of course you have less range than Kona and Nero. Uh, but it still beats many of the competitors today, even like, you know, Leaf or maybe the previous generation i3, not the new, newest one. So, but you know, the thing is that Ionic is so cheap and uh, the deliver and the wait time for Ionic has gone down. I, I saw a post today, one guy, he received his Ionic and he waited only three and a half months. So that is great news. Yeah, the only problem with Ionic, of course, is that it doesn't have app support, and you have to be plugged in to reach to um, to preheat. So that is a disadvantage. But still, you know, you get so much, so good car for the money. So I still recommend Ionic even today. Oh, what she? Well, I mean, I was gonna check the weight here, but uh, there's a truck there, so. Um, Oh, I have to skip it. Uh, this truck is weighing. Uh, so I, I, let's come back later. Okay, I hope this doesn't interfere too much with the test. Whoa, we have some uh, headwind right now. Look at the windsock there. Huh. Uh, and despite headwind, we have 158 watt hour per kilometer. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a little run and then come back and see <laughs> see how good this is. Okay, now it stabilizes. Oh, what the heck? We have some road construction here. Uh, you probably hear some rattling. That is from uh, the rear the rear hatch. I've heard it before in Ionic. Could be some issue. 
I have to take it easy here. Slightly lower average uh, average speed. So um, yeah. All right, we are back at the Fortum charger. Uh, I don't think I need to juice up. I have uh, seventy one percent left. And the consumption was ooh, 156 what type of kilometers. So uh, last winter when I tested it, I had 160 what type of kilometers. That was worse driving conditions, colder weather. See, it's minus, minus four here. So, you know, uh, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, no, but your Zoe or your Leaf is consuming less than this. No, keep in mind that this is winter conditions. In summer, I managed, I managed, um, yeah, we did this also before two years ago and during summer the consumption was 119 watt hour per kilometer so yes uh, ionic is still efficiency king and in comparison i recently tested um, the new uh, bmw i3 s with winter tires in the same conditions but actually better driving condition it was wet i mean today was wet or moist road back then it was dry road and higher temperature and the i3s uh, consume 163 watt drive per kilometer this is 156 you see and also recently when i tested um, kia e nero uh, i averaged um, well i started around 175 but then the driving conditions got worse and then in the end i had 180 181 watt drive per kilometer so 156 is pretty good you i think you have to look for a long time actually i don't think you can find any ev that can match the consumption of Ionic and uh, well, how many kilometers that, that does that mean in a full charge? I, I estimated to about 160 170 kilometers in full charge. It's still pretty good, not as good as the i3, the latest one that one could do like 225, but for most people, it's good, yeah. But all right, let's uh, let's do the next test, which is uh, the high speed test. So I did 90 kilometers per hour now, I'm gonna do 120 kilometers per hour. Uh, 75 miles per hour and then we'll see what the consumption is all right finally the scale is available uh, let's do a quick one okay let's do the front axle first uh, this one should be like I guess uh, 900 kilos oh 800 780 let me just check here all right 780 eight what it can't make up its mind. All right, 780, and then full weight of the car. 1580 with driver, 75 kilo driver. Ah, 1600. Okay, all right, 1600. And then rear axle. Ooh. 800. Wow, this is perfect. The 50 50 uh, distribution. Cool. Wow, <laughs> well, let's hammer it. Oh yeah, we are hammering it. Uh, on the 90 kilometers per hour run, I turn around here, but um, uh, let's, uh, let's take a longer run uh, to kind of minimize that effect it had on the stop. So you're gonna hammer it some more, maybe the Espa. And so far, looking pretty good, 215 watts per kilometer. Again, this is winter consumption and we are fighting against the wind right now. So uh, once we turn back, we will have tailwind and um, then we'll see how high or low the consumption will be. So yeah, this is uh, interesting. Oh, a leaf. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh yes, we are finally back at Nebenes. Yeah, I'm just still struggling with the low sun. I, I get in the face there, or maybe not, all right. But uh, if you look at the screenshot here, we averaged 206 watt hour per kilometer. And again, some of you guys will be like, no, but my bundle S consumes less. Yes, you do in summer. Try it in winter and you will consume more. I, I bet you will. Uh, so 206 is pretty good because um, uh, I remember, yes, I recently tested the i3 lately and it was, there was the 120 amp hour um, uh, i3s and it consumed 231 watt hour per kilometer. So 206 is pretty good. So that means you can do, let's say about 140 kilometers uh, on a full charge. Yeah, so um, 
if you want to hammer it on the autobahn you can't use a german auto you have to use a korean auto <laughs> yeah i know maybe it's time for the germans to make an ev that is half as sexy as an ionic right <laughs> All right, but um, I think that was it for now. So now I will drive home. I will juice up a little bit, drive home, and then I will analyze the, um, the noise test. But it seems good, yeah. So, yes, yeah. All right, we are back home, and I've checked the data. And then, well, here you see the first graph here. It shows you just... Uh, the different sound levels on different speeds so well okay not too interesting we have to compare it to the other cars all right if you look here now so table is growing slowly and um, you see that um, ionic uh, actually uh, is noisier than most other cars only um, uh, Volkswagen e up is noisier than ionic hmm so it was a bit weird man I didn't get the impression when I was driving it but you know uh, the instruments don't lie. Yeah, so this is DBA, by the way. Uh, some people might say, nah, why is not uh, relevant um, for the human ear? So I'm not sure about that. Well, you see, um, so I, I started showing you fractions also, but um, at least for E-Golf e uh, Model X and I-Pace, I don't have the exact numbers there because I didn't use the record option on the sound meter. But um, yeah, so <clears throat> you see that at lower speeds, uh, Ionic uh, is noisier than, for example, i3, but i3 is uh, different, you know, it's it's noisy at high speed, probably because of frameless windows, the same as Model X. Uh, so, right, on the next one here, you see a new graph that I've made. So, this one shows better, you know, the, how, how noisy or how quiet these cars are at different speeds. So, if you look at here, okay, um, the, the green line, that's the i3, you see that the i3 at higher speeds picks up more noise uh, and also at some extent e Nero does it but then you have other cars like uh, e-up uh, for some reason <laughs> e-up picks up less noise at higher speed along with i guess e-golf so um but again like um i mentioned e um no uh, e-golf i-pace and model x doesn't have exact numbers so maybe if i have time i will make um an updated version but uh, yeah so there you have it uh, noise levels so um, oh by the way great news yes tomorrow I'm gonna borrow the um, the Kia Soul EV the, it's the old one the 30 kilowatt hour one because again I had an, an impression that that car was quiet uh, but again we have to test it with the instrument and see if it is you know may, many times you know it's just placebo effect like mm, yeah this is nice this is nice maybe you were just in a good mood you know so yeah um, I guess that's it then um, the test of uh, Hyundai Ko uh, there's so many cars nowadays um, Hyundai Ionic yes I hope you guys enjoy this video and as always Thank you for watching and talk to you later.